Good Monday morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. A statewide search continues this morning for a missing Aurora boy. An Amber Alert was issued for 12 year old Liam Sweezy this weekend. The car he might be in was last seen Saturday afternoon in Grand Junction. Officials say Liam was picked up by his mom Nikki on Friday. Police say he doesn't have the medication he needs. They were in a 2010 blue Honda Fit with a license plate BVV 937. The coronavirus testing site at the Pepsi Center could stay open for another year. Denver City Council will review a plan tonight to spend $3 million on a contract with LabCorp to keep that testing site open. It's currently open seven days a week and offers testing for free. Motor vehicle offices are opening today for the first time in more than three months. Visitors will see new glass dividers between customers and employees and social distance markers. If you're going, you'll need a cell phone, a mask, and your patients. They're expecting long lines today, but the lines won't be inside. Customers will wait outside and get a text when it's their turn to come in. Now here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with a check of our forecast. And it's a beautiful start to our Monday morning. We're going to see a mostly sunny sky today and another pretty toasty afternoon. Right now looking at upper 50s to even some low 60s early morning and some dry conditions across the state. It's going to be a warm up though, a big one for us again today. We're likely going to see by about 8 o'clock mid 70s getting into the upper 80s by noon and then highs this afternoon in the low to mid 90s. Mostly sunny today. We picked up a few isolated storms yesterday. Today though pretty hot and dry. Fire danger will once again start to be more of a concern here over the next few days. Denver today highs in the mid 90s. Look at the northeastern corner of the state, some triple digit heat. It's going to stay pretty warm through midweek, but there will be a better chance for a few thunderstorms a little later this week.